Stay away from me! Please, no. Keep back. I can't. I have found it. Stay away. Please. 
I have finally done what I sought out. I will not let you do this to me. I know your soul. One of a cursed man who destroyed the life I had.
those are not familiar footsteps. Who are you? Eric. I have come to help. Where is Ladak? I do not recall any Ladak. He is the Lord of the Cathedral. He... Hmm. You are a defiant with a heavy heart. The Night Crux is taking hold of you. I feel a force taking hold. My heart is weighted. My mind is clouded with no light to guide me. And now I have killed the one who was meant to grant me salvation. His blood on my hands. Herman. A man seeking a cure for the mutations. Alas, you must seek comfort from this. Herman was not the man many thought him to be. Why do you speak these words? Who are you? I am Annabella. I was trying to find a cure for the mutations, help Herman with his research. But he went mad. I couldn't carry it on alone. And then, he imprisoned me. Herman was determined to weed as much as possible from me by force. These laboratories are more than meet the eye. The dead are sacred within these walls, and attended to with more care than any living being. Under our feet are the chambers of the city dwellers who came before. Dwellers of influence and prestige. There are many palaces around the world, people trapped within. We must not stop until these people are free from the threat of the heinous. Free from the promises they proclaimed so long ago. Of what do you speak? They are ancient forces of evil, branded onto sacred objects, corrupting them. Many do not dare utter their name, as they corrupt the minds of many. Yet, I condemn such fear of a name, for I see many horrors more unspeakable than the sepulchre. You have my assurance of help, Annabella. Eric, the name of a troubled man who does not yet know his way, the Night Crux will be your guide. It attracts them, you see. They will find you. That is a fate I am not eager to dwell on. Then you understand fear. That is courage in itself. You must leave this place. Find shelter at the manor. What about you? What will you do? Rid myself of this affliction. Find the Lord of the Cathedral of which you speak. It's the best hope I have. Lord Ladakh is not to be trusted. His spirit is cursed by the unspoken beings of the Junas Ministry. I will take care. Very well. But I hope to see you also at the manor. Soon. You must leave this place. What about you? Rid my Lord Lord I will take care. Very well.
gratified to lay my eyes upon you once more. Mithringal, I recall my days in despair. Surely, you, if I were to leave, I sense agitation in you and befuddlement. Has the mutation taken you within its merciless grasp? Soon the cold will overwhelm you, Wanderer. Make a monster of you. You will become one of them, your heart all consumed. You are not the only Wanderer I have seen fall into this affliction. Recognizable only by the mark you bear. A mark of insurrection. The walls of the place where I was held captive were adorned with this symbol. The same as lined Hermit's halls. Do you know of its origin? The symbol of devotees to the gods. They themselves are a poison, contaminating past the Cathedral and Mithringal borders. The creatures that lie in wait there are overcome with that symbol as they grow stronger, spreading their infection into the hearts of innocents. The Cathedral? A place descended from the heavens. It shows us who will rule us and how we must honor them in death. It is an ancient tradition, founded at the city's birth. What happened to the proprietors of such a place? The people of the cathedral were determined to survive. Their solution was to synthesize a power most great to see to their survival. But it spread, mercilessly infecting many, taking their hearts for its own. You may feel the Nycrux clamping your heart in a vice this very moment, young wanderer. But the hearts of these creatures are pure, undiluted evil. We do not dare speak their names. It seems you were right, laddie. This place sure did come up with the goods. Fancy anything you see? to lay my eyes upon that has its hold on me. Unrelenting, but made by those who should have held the wisdom bestowed upon them by the common being. It is a great shame that such folly should tarnish the lives of the majority.
What can you tell me of Laddick and this Junus ministry of which I've heard whispers? A man unworthy of his position, his power obtained through distraction and deceit. Alas, the resting place is not the only location Ladakh has soiled with his muck. He controls many of the sacred places we once called home. The mark you bear is one I have seen before. Whispers say it is the mark of the imprisoned, the disgraced. But that is what a man like Ladakh and his misguided ministry would want you to believe. Neither he nor his erroneous clergy is to be trusted. What can you tell me about these sacred places? It would be wise to reflect upon the true self. For you will find a place of mirrors that show a reflection unrecognizable. It's people driven mad by experimentation. A cage created by a power that should be unimaginable, but is greatly sought. Another is buried deep in rage. Even the bones of our civilization are open to Ladakh's wrath. Uprooted and now fallen in ruin, in the deep forest, he has taken our churches, our homes, our... Another is shrouded in numbness. Despite Ladakh's influence, he has an adversary he does not dare to face. A man in his sordid kingdom, where the snow never ceases. The final... Well, this is when Ladakh himself must be sought in his lair. But the opportunity to defeat him will be limited, for all other threats must be eliminated before he can be destroyed. Return to me once you have truly comprehended the threat we face and the places most revered. Only then will you begin to understand. Only then can I gift you with more than just words. <laughs>